In the far reaches of northern Japan, a once thriving indigenous culture finds itself on the brink of fading into the annals of history. The Ainu people, known for their distinct language, customs, and connection with nature, now face an uncertain future as their culture struggles to survive amidst the pressures of modern society. Join us on a captivating journey to uncover the secrets behind the mysterious decline of this unique group and explore the efforts being made to revive their traditions before it's too late. The Ainu people have inhabited the northern islands of Japan, particularly Hokkaido, and parts of Russia's Sakhalin and Kuril Islands for thousands of years. They lived off the land, hunting, fishing, and gathering, and developed a rich cultural tapestry of their own, independent of the Japanese society that would later come to dominate the region. Yet, despite their ancient history and fascinating way of life, the Ainu have faced centuries of discrimination, assimilation policies, and forced assimilation into Japanese society, which has pushed their culture to the brink of extinction. When Japan began its rapid modernization in the late 19th century, the central government implemented policies aimed at assimilating the Ainu people into mainstream Japanese culture. These policies included banning the use of the Ainu language, promoting intermarriage with ethnic Japanese, and forcibly relocating the Ainu to newly established agricultural settlements. These measures had a devastating impact on the Ainu people, as their traditional way of life was disrupted and their unique cultural identity was gradually eroded. As the 20th century progressed, the Ainu population continued to dwindle. Many Ainu were forced to leave their ancestral lands due to land expropriation and the development of industries such as mining, forestry, and fishing. In addition, introduction of new diseases and the loss of traditional knowledge and skills further contributed to the decline of the Ainu people. As a result of widespread discrimination and their frequent labeling as backward and uncivilized by Japanese society, the Ainu situation became even worse. The Ainu were frequently relegated to the fringes of society, struggling to find work and facing poverty and marginalization. The long-standing prejudice against the Ainu has left a deep scar on their collective psyche, with many feeling ashamed of their heritage and choosing to hide their true identity. However, the 21st century has brought renewed hope for the Ainu people. In recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in Ainu culture, both in Japan and internationally. This has led to the establishment of various initiatives aimed at preserving and revitalizing the unique traditions, language, and customs of the Ainu people. One such initiative was the establishment of the Yupopoi National Ainu Museum and Park, which opened in 2020 in Hokkaido. This museum serves as a cultural and educational center that showcases Ainu history, traditions, and crafts, and aims to foster greater understanding and appreciation for Ainu culture among Japanese society and visitors from around the world. There have also been efforts to revitalize the Ainu language, which is considered critically endangered by UNESCO. A small but dedicated group of Ainu language activists has been working tirelessly to document, preserve, and teach the language to younger generations. While the number of fluent speakers remains low, there is hope that these efforts will help ensure the survival of the Ainu language for future generations. Moreover, in 2019, the Japanese government officially recognized the Ainu as an indigenous people of Japan, promising to promote and protect their cultural rights. This historic move marked a significant milestone in the struggle for Ainu rights and has been hailed as an essential step towards addressing the historical injustices faced by the Ainu people. Despite these positive developments, the road to cultural revitalization for the Ainu people remains fraught with challenges. Although the Japanese government has acknowledged the Ainu's indigenous status and made efforts to support their cultural preservation, many Ainu still face ongoing discrimination and economic hardships. Furthermore, the task of reviving and preserving the Ainu language and traditions is no small feat. With a limited number of fluent speakers and the ongoing pressures of assimilation, it is a race against time to ensure that the rich cultural heritage of the Ainu people is not lost forever. Encouraging younger generations to learn and embrace their Ainu identity is crucial to the success of these efforts. Education is also a key factor in addressing the historical marginalization of the Ainu people. By promoting a more accurate and respectful portrayal of Ainu history and culture in Japanese schools and the media, it is hoped that greater understanding and acceptance of the Ainu people can be fostered within Japanese society. The international community also has a role to play in supporting the Ainu people in their quest for cultural revitalization. By raising awareness of the Ainu's plight and providing support for cultural preservation initiatives, the global community can help ensure that the unique traditions of the Ainu people are celebrated and passed down to future generations. As we delve into the mysterious decline of the Ainu people and their struggle to preserve their unique culture, we are reminded of the importance of celebrating and safeguarding the rich tapestry of human diversity. 
The story of the Ainu serves as a powerful testament to the resilience of the human spirit, as well as a stark reminder of the consequences of cultural erasure and discrimination. As the Ainu people continue their journey towards cultural revitalization, their story offers hope and inspiration to indigenous peoples around the world who are fighting to preserve their own distinct heritage in the face of modernity and societal pressures.